Okay, good afternoon, everyone. It's now 2.04. Welcome to the Board of Condemnation Blight Meeting. I'm Pat Mahoney, um, building. Introduce yourself. Uh, Dennis Iannotti, Director of the Health Department. Director of the Health Department. Uh, all right, I'd like to call. So I'm going to make a motion to waive the regular order of business to address uh, the properties for which there are people appearing before us or on the line. Second, yes. All in favor? Aye. Any opposition? None being. Okay, so. So I believe you guys were here first, 454 Verna? So and we're going to. So just from our perspective, uh, I, did we speak last week on the phone? Okay, yes, yeah, and so the, um, let me just ask you to identify yourself for the record. Bruce Elstein, Goldman Gruder and Woods. Okay. And with me is Paul Pinto, um, tenant in the property. Okay, welcome both. Um, so uh, we did take a look at the property. As we discussed, it, it does not have siding. The blight ordinance says property should have siding. Um, it hasn't had that siding for, we believe, at least a year and a quarter or so. Um, I believe there was a question about uh, a building permit had been issued for siding, uh, and then just determine whether that was expired or not and whether it meets the criteria for blight. Obviously, it meets the criteria for blight. It doesn't have siding, but uh, Pat, I wanted to get yeah. your opinion on the... So basically, the building code tells you once you pull a permit, a permit is valid for 180 days. Yep. Uh, after that, you can you can apply for an extension, you know, for whatever, and it could be uh, approved by the building official. Mm -hmm. uh, for, you know, hey, I can't get the siding, or you know, not just because I don't want to do it, but if there's any really circumstances, we can't extend it for. This has been uh, it's been a while. Right? It's been a while, so I think we're kind of beyond extensions. Right. The plan is to side the house and roof the house, uh, the hope was to do it both at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, it's difficult getting into the colder weather to get someone to come out with both before the end of the year. So we'd like to start working on it. We don't want it in its current condition, but we want to try to work with you to get it done in a timely fashion that's also reasonable. Right. Okay. And what what is that time period that you're thinking? You know, is, do we think you could start, you know, you kind of said you can't do it before the end of the year. Can you start in January, do you believe? I mean, there's, they can side perfectly. I mean, we don't have any cold well, weather. What, what kind of siding are we using? Originally, it was just going to be siding. Yeah. And then decided that we might as well do the roof. So will that be another wanted, permit? Yeah. Okay. And then felt that it would be better just from a uh, practical standpoint to instead of ripping roof off and dumping it on top of the siding and making a mess and obviously damaging it, we're going to do the roof and then do the siding, but also had misunderstanding that the permit was good for two years. Yeah. No. Or a year at least. I never knew it was six months. Yeah. Yeah. That's Most right in the projects. State, right in the state statutes. Oh, okay. And so, you can, if you're not contesting it. To, to yeah. No, no, yeah. no. Yeah. And a lot of people yeah. don't understand right. that because a lot of projects, you know, it doesn't even say it on the permit anywhere. Yeah, right? and, and it's basically if you're continuing to go. I mean, that's been sitting at the right. same right. for, um, and there are circumstances. But, I mean, siding and roofing goes on all the time. I mean, if they're, we're getting permits for siding and roofing, they're continuing to do it. So that's why I'm, I'm on a little trouble thinking that you can't find somebody to go ahead with and get going. We got. Well, it's a little more complicated than that because it's not just we're doing, it's going to be a wood roof. So uh -huh. a lot of work that needs to be Oh, no, I fully understand, 100%. You know, sure. With gutters and copper yep, and copper. flashings mm -hmm. and everything else. And that was just decided recently. So keeping in mind that I thought it was a year or two year permit process, didn't realize that it expired. And obviously there was work being done. There's tie, it's all tie back. It's, no. Yeah, and there is a a, a limit to on Tyvek where Tyvek is only good for six months. Right. So that may all have to be ripped off. That's another thing right. you want to look into. You may end up having to peel all that off, which may expose the siding that you started. So that could be an issue as well. So the plan was to um, get through the bad winter and do the roof and do the siding and pull the permits for the roof. And now it's going to be obviously the siding also, not knowing that it expired. Okay. Can you um, commit to a ballpark date range when you think the work will start? Um, February 1st. February 1st? Okay. So, um, again, so as I ex explained to uh, your lawyer, um, you know, we w this is a hearing. We will likely declare it 
blighted because it doesn't have the siding, but we like to work with you and, and, and uh, you know, my perspective is that's a reasonable date to, uh, to, to allow as long as Pat is okay with, you know, from the building par department perspective and the permits and... I think from building, I just have a kind of a, as to why the, I mean, you could still side. It's not going to damage the roof. We see it every day where they side and then they go re-roof. So I, I kind of... Well, now it's really, it has, it's independent of the roof. Yeah. We so, may do it before the roof. Yeah. Right. I mean, I think siding so, can happen like right away. There's, I don't, it, just from a building standpoint and, and the weather, I, I don't, well, I don't think it's that. It's just that wasn't planned until this letter came. So for us. Right. Start from scratch. Well, I'm thinking, because yeah. you started siding, correct? No. You haven't. You just peeled it off? It's all peeled and wrapped and taped right. and ready to so, go. So, I mean, what is the But here's the thing. Still. It's not, uh, I mean, maybe technically it falls under the blight, but it's the farthest thing from blight. I mean, you could barely see about a foot or two from the top of the house, the top portions right. of the roof with the fence in the front. So, there's a fence. The three it's sides is completely protected from either landscaping or woods. Right. Front, the front street has about a foot or two visibility above the brand new fence that's there. So it's not causing anyone an ice work right. at it, all. It's just it, the fact that it does meet the blight conditions and... I know, but there's considerations that are well, given other I, circumstances I think, no, 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 I, where I, people I, have timing issues, financial yeah. issues, and other issues to get the work done, as mm -hmm. we know. Oh, yeah. That's why it. we're here. I see it all the time, 100%. I, I just don't understand uh, the, the the reasoning for not being able to start the site. That's what I'm trying to figure out. What is yeah. the... Have, someone has to be procured. You have to be... Mm -hmm. uh, but you pulled the permit over, over, over a year ago when we didn't do anything. We peeled it off. So you didn't have anybody to do the siding before peeling all the siding At off? At the time, it was somebody. It was We did it ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I say we put it on the blight. Okay, well, um, so I'll make a motion uh, that, um, and there'll still be opportunity to discuss, mm -hmm. um, I'll make a motion that 454 Verna Hill Road uh, be considered blighted. Second. All in favor? Discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? Um, so, I, I, you know, again, from my perspective, uh, and again, I, we'll have a discussion now, I, I think the February 1st to start with a building permit taken prior to that, um, and all the steps taken, um, I think, is a, a reasonable compromise. When we spoke earlier, you said sometime late in the spring, I believe, and so it sounds like you've moved it up several months. Um, I think uh, that's a reasonable accommodation, but again, we're here to discuss it, and uh, I would say um, to put a 30-day uh, uh, period on it, like we do with most of the, most any blight, and then that you would provide updates in terms of, I hey, I pulled the building permit, I've ordered the supplies, we've got the contractor, this is who's doing it, and that that the, all that be demonstrated between now and February 1st when the work's proposed to Yeah, start. one thing I will request from building, um, and I don't even know if I can, is I will want a letter from an engineer that that tie back is good to be exposed to the elements for over a year because I don't believe that it is. So I believe that that may be a um, caveat. Um, and I can fully we could re -wrap it, I can fully extend your permit another 180 days, okay. but that's as much as I can October, November. Um, and I will I'll go in and I'll date it. Uh, I'm allowed to do 180 days. So um, ideally, if we can get it started by January 20, 20th, that would give you your 180 days to start, it, just to start the project. And That's fair. Right. I mean, operation. That way, you, you know, and, and, and basically, you know, it's not saying that you have to start, but you got to at least, uh, that way we'll have our 180 days and we're staying within compliance so that there's no, what he's saying, you're doing, you know. Okay. So, so what does it mean to be blighted now? Do the fines start now, so, or do we? No, 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 no. Working? We're nowhere near the fines. It's it's basically we're going to declare that it meets the criteria for blight. We're going to give you a 30-day compliance period. We've discussed about what are the, some of the conditions that you move forward. Guess what? You've already obtained an extension on your building permit. So <coughs> you're making steps so forward. We, we come back in 30 days and tell you what we're doing. You can provide an email update if you yeah, like, or just give me a, just a give me a call your, from your engineer that says, hey, the Tyvek is. Whatever, it's just kind of a game plan. If you're moving ahead, we're not looking to bury anybody. You're working with us. You're not fighting us. Yep. Um, but I would like us to put in the, at least enough. Uh, okay, so 30 days plus an assessment of the tie yeah. effect 
Uh, oh, are you great. saying you're willing to rewrap the whole we'll thing? We'll rewrap it if we have to. I could have an engineer. Okay. Yeah, I have okay. an engineer. That's all. And just give me something that says it's it's valid for being exposed over a year or will change. That's okay. all. Any further discussion on your part? No? Okay. Call for a vote. Okay. Uh, vote to put uh, 454, Verna. 454 Verna on the boy. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. No all right. Well, thank you for showing up. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. All right. Next, um, you have, um, I didn't mean to point at you, but you 92 have. 92 and 280 tuck out. So let's get you set. Sure. And uh, That's great. Thank you. So we sent a hearing notice for 92 Tuckahoe that it meets the criteria for blight again. Okay. Um, 280 Tuckahoe. 280 Tuckahoe and 92 Oh, excuse me. I'm yeah. thinking of 92 Grassmere and yeah. 280 Tuckahoe. Yeah. Um, from, uh, let's address 92 Grassmere yeah. first. 92 um, Grassmere. The, you know, as we had stated, you know, we feel it's somewhat, when, it, when the work was done, it was a, a hair over the line that we were willing to pause the fines previously. Um, it, it, in, in my opinion, it went back over that in the last couple of months, but I did notice that uh, as of today, the falling boards in the front fascia have been resecured. Um, there's still still a couple issues there um, that that some efforts were made. The gate was closed to resecure the property, um, um, and so you know the the only issues that that I really am I'm concerned that about the roof. The roof is obviously ha has some holes in it, and it looks like it's 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 going fast. Definitely um, on safe structure. So, uh, you know. The plan for 92, you know that there's a buyer on the scene. It's been on for a little while. Yeah, we've had that. Ray Wisniewski, former firefighter, uh, is the owner. He's mm -hmm. selling it to Scott Molnar. Yeah. Molnar plans to demolish 92, mm -hmm. maybe 280 as well. Um, I'm not sure what's holding up the deal. It's not my case. It's my partner Frank's. Have yep. you talked to Frank? I've yeah. talked to Frank a few times. He's much tougher than I am. Um, and I just know that's the plan. I'm yeah. just pinch hitting for him today. I know it's been on the list. I know it's back on. Or right, and they corrected a lot of the blight issues, and they were prepared to go to close, and, and then it just stopped. Yeah. And that's why we kind of gave them motion we stopped and then it, nothing happened so that's why we're both yeah happened. there was a pause yep. and some indication of that uh you know when we spoke to mr molnar that that mr wisniewski wasn't following through on the contract they had executed and so it you know again the understanding was we would allow a pausing of the fines to allow mr molnar to buy you know because they needed to set the fee the fines get those fixed so it was a known quantity. So we paused the fines. They were supposed to sell the property, demolish the property, and that didn't happen. I think well, that, that's there's been a, there's, a back, there's a back story to some yeah. of that. Um, there's negotiations going on between Wisniewski and the town about satisfying the lien because it's over $100,000, as I understand it. Yeah. So there's in discussions on it. Um, I know Attorney Piers and Lito are talking to each other. They yeah. are budding heads. Yeah, and it, again, that's between them and the Board of Selectmen. We don't get involved in the fines. You know, uh, we don't have the authority to waive or reduce or do anything to them. I'm just saying it, it, it delayed the closing because in yeah. order to sell, you have to clear the lien, and there's not enough money to go around. Yeah. So that's an impediment. So it's kind of we're caught in a catch-22, not being able to – buy the property or sell the property, our office is on both ends of that, um, because of the holdup with negotiating the lien. We've made an offer um, consistent with other actions that have been taken by the town in the past, not you, I understand that, um, but that has not been accepted, and I'm not sure where that's going, whether it's headed to litigation or whether it's headed towards a deal, it's not my case. Yeah, yeah. So. I, you know, to the extent that there were issues that you said were over the line a hair, to the extent that those are the same issues you're going to be declaring blight on, I would suggest maybe you shouldn't because if it was over the line and it's the same issue, it's still over the line. Um, I understand that the bash has been removed, uh, fixed, the gates have been fixed, and I understand the fence was repaired. It was put back up. It was falling down and they put it back up. <laughs> I didn't notice that. The, you know, there's big sags. 
sort of we're trying to block access to it as best we can um, by keeping the gates closed and having that well, what do they call that? Storm, storm fence, construction fence. And, yeah. You know, the staples had started to rip and it had some big sags in it where somebody could step over it. We'd like those re-secured. There's a, a window open now and uh, at what looks like an eave open. Yeah, it's, to, yeah. um, it's hard to tell whether there's a black board or something there, but it looks like it's open. The, the vent in the eave, the side window is open, you know, so birds and animals can crawl in and out. Um, um, all which, in my opinion, meet still meet the criteria. Um, but so what's I, happening I, to I, that? I, I, so we're at the same thing that just happened to the previous property. We're having an earring to determine whether it meets the criteria for blight. So we're back on the blight. So we're back on monitor the, us, and if we're not good boys, we get fined together. So that's the same kind of thing. That's that's we'd we'd like okay. we'd hopefully like it resolved yes. before we ever get to that. Yep. But as long as Mr. Molnar is as the property continues to de deteriorate. Uh, if he's willing to make the repairs, we will never go to fines again. As long as he's keeping it on that side of the line, um, that's um, acceptable. But I, I think I think between the roof and the openings, um, and keeping that keeping it secured uh, from entry, um, I think those are the conditions that will ask to be maintained until such time that the property is sold and demolished. So um, again, I'll make a motion that 92 Grassmere meets the criteria for blight, and it be declared so with okay. those issues uh, of maintaining it, repair it, making necessary repairs, closing the windows and fixing the vent, repairing the roof as necessary, um, and uh, in accordance with all the building codes. And, and uh, so that's that's my motion. Okay, and we we'll have give a 30-day period for 92 blight. Grassmere to be put up on blight. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. <laughs> Any discussion? That's it. So 280 Tuckahoe. Okay. Uh, so 280 Tuckahoe. Again, since since we they resolved the blight issue there, uh, they have gone and reboarded another window in the front, and uh, there's an entire window missing in the back now that's been open to the elements. You know, the whole thing's just gone. I don't know if it fell inward or if it was removed, but there's an entirely missing window. Uh, on the back, and so <laughs> those two things uh, meet the criteria for blight. Um, so I'll make a motion that 280 Tuckahoe meets the criteria for blight. We give them a 30-day compliance period to rectify those two issues, either right. by painting, replacing the window in the front and the back, and at least uh, painting the window in the front to match the color of the house so it doesn't stand out like it is now. All right, we have a motion for 280 Tuckahoe Lane for 30 days. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Hi. Opposed? Okay. Okay. So same thing. Yep. We're requesting that whoever repair those issues. Um, Scott's worked with us before. He knows yes. what we look yeah, for. Yeah, Scott knows how to reach out to um, us. And so it's just... We would love got to get, get in more control. That's we would all. love to get it going and, you know, okay. move ahead. Yep. All right. All right. So for three today. <laughs> and related to just on one thing, you know, while you're here, since you're representing 92 yep. Grassmore, we have Grassmere on condemnation still. Uh-huh. I'd like a motion, make a motion to remove that because in the repairs that Mr. Molnar made, he took down the back stairs, which was the really the big issue, the and the back wall collapsing in. So it doesn't necessarily meet the criteria for condemnation anymore. But quite as okay. So but we have a, a motion to remove 92 Grasmere from condemnation. Second. Second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Opposed. Right. Okay. So we will no, remove it. Sort of. All right. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Have a great day. Okay. And you guys are... So we're here so at 108 make, Bureau. So we made a clerical error, and so we have to... I'll make a motion to add 108 Bureau to the agenda um, for today, uh, and is technically as a hearing. Okay, hey, we want to... I'm going to have a motion on the floor to add 108 Bureau to new business. Do I have one? Yes. Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. All right. All right. Okay. Hi, good afternoon. Good I'm afternoon. Andy, and I'm the Associate General Counsel for the Diocese of Bridgeport. Uh, Father Sean, last name again, please. Kalasi. Kalasi, excuse me, is the Irish uh, there. <laughs> well, Irish there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome. Thank you for having. Um, so this is the first time for us. I, we had just received this notice um, whenever it was sent out, October fourth, and making its way here. Um, I'm new to the position, June myself. So uh, the big thing, that kind of, hopefully, maybe potentially a good game changer for us is. We're in the process of working to sell the building. Um, okay, great. This was a building, this old school building. 
I believe Fairfield uh, Public Schools had used it up to 2021 or two. Oh, yeah. It had been used. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know the date offhand, but right at the end of the, the pandemic, so mm -hmm. to speak, the, yeah. the um, chose not to renew, fine. We've been using it for Catholic Charities and with Fairfield Cadets through, I think, Officer Wellington, you said? Yeah, they were using it for some practice drills. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so it had been in use. The problem is we had fallen victim to vandals. Yes. So that's been our problem. Um, it's pretty evident. I was just there last week, and we saw some fresh, you know, I'll tell you, nothing to surprise. You can see it. Fresh, dully broken glass. Yeah. And we were walking on it and stuff. So we're, we're subject to vandals, unfortunately. Uh, it's been tough for, you know, building that's partially used, not fully used, uh, nonprofit, no less, you know, not exactly a uh, developer. We are in process. I just sent a, signed a letter of intent. I'll, I won't say with who yet, just in case, but with contracts coming in the next two weeks, um, looking to sell the property. The developer has a vested interest of getting <coughs> municipal approvals, mostly through zoning, uh, as quickly as possible, uh, essentially for the mor moratorium purposes. So the good thing is, unlike most applications that could sit for a year or two because they're trying to draw plans and stuff, mm -hmm. this particular developer has a vested interest in beating a, a, a deadline. Uh, which I understand to be pretty, you know, somewhat imminent as far as that application to the state, which has a 90-day period there. So we're hopeful, and we can certainly address some of these issues either by, I think we have with boards that need to be painted probably to whatever color the building is. Yeah, to kind of glass. So they blend in as best, yeah. best as possible. Yeah. So we can we will make our we will make all the efforts to address all the issues with. Uh, I think painting the boards would probably be the easiest way. I, I don't think a plexiglass would help. So paint them and blend them in. Yeah. So if that's um, you know to work with now and you know get some time to get that in, get that in place, I hope that will be sufficient with the with the background of the by I should say the building is going to be demolished as part of this. Yeah. So the old building is going to go. Actually, uh, I'll say the convent across the street is going to be part of it as well. Um, but the building is going to go. Um, okay. So to the extent that we can avoid a fines and b material repairs that are only going to be demolished. Uh, with yeah. boards and painted and stuff, uh, that would be preferred if possible. And if if everything was to go in the most ideal way, what when do you see um, a, the demo happening? I mean, that's outside of my our control. I mean, again, the application for zoning approval would need to go in. Let's say, I mean, let's just say, ninety days, hundred twenty okay. days from now. That process takes however long it takes, um, and I'm sorry I don't know the deadlines offhand, but okay. those kind of statutes have you know set deadlines for months. Okay. I, I mean I can't you know it's going to be the developer's hands to eventually close and demolish. Um, you know I, I, time frames for something like that. I hate to say a year or so uh, okay. for demolishing and stuff, but at the very least, if you're amenable to you know painted boards, that's something we can certainly do. I, I you know again I, I think in the it's an interim measure. Yes that will take until mm -hmm. with the intent of that the building is eventually going to be taken down. Um, I, 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 I certainly give updates as far as yeah. a contractor. Right. Contracts have been signed because we have a letter of intent, so that's pretty phase. That's pretty definitive. And then mm -hmm. applications in with zoning, um, yeah. definitive as you can get. We're moving ahead. Yeah. yeah. So um, any other comments? Nothing comes to mind except okay. this up, obviously, uh, meager means of the uh, parish. Of course, of course. And is, so just, just is, like... Is my phone active? This is Kevin Barry. Is my phone active? Uh, yes, it is. No, thank you. Uh, just, I guess, one other point. In, uh, in the meantime, it would be, be nice, you know, to have the, the grass cut and a lot of the vines removed from the fence that are overgrown. you got a lot of overgrown stuff in the back of that parking lot. It doesn't really look very good. And I understand you know, the, what sounds like to be the future of, of the, uh, the building, but, you know, that grass hasn't been touched in a year. So, you know. Yeah. Uh, so are you a neighbor, just so I, I know? I, you I, 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 live, I live on 364 Halley Avenue, right across the street from the parking lot, uh, the rear parking lot, so I see this every day. Are you, I, I know it's a bureau, it's a dead-end street. Are you... Uh, below the dead end, so closer to Kings Highway, or above the dead end? He's on Halley, which is where the parking lot is. Yeah, it's right there. That's the oh, road. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, so so if you go up, you go up Halley Avenue. You know, at the very dead end, it's the entrance to the Halley Ave condos. We are their neighbors. 
Okay. So sure. So you cut the cut the grass and vines on the building. You said, sir. Fence. Fence. Yeah, uh, on the fence, you could see. You know, it's it's pretty well overgrown. I, I, you know, that was the original concern was, you know, just try to keep a little upkeep. You know. Yeah. Oh well, that's. I mean, sir, that's yeah. easy to do. We'll make sure that we do that. Um, if it if it was the original concern, I'll note that and yeah. as well, and we can certainly take care of it. And so, Mr. Barry, uh, as as I don't know if it was explained to you, is you know overgrowth does not come under blight, so we don't have the authority to uh, address that issue. But it sounds like they're willing to comply with that, uh, and yeah, so, that's easy to do, sir. Yep. So, uh, if there isn't any further discussion, I'll make a motion that 108 Bureau Street meets the criteria for blight. We'll give a 30-day period to comply as long as there are updates uh, and the improvements that we discussed here were made in terms of boarding the windows, painting them so, such that they don't, um, so they blend in, cleaning broken glass, all those kinds of things, making sure all the doors and windows are secured. Um, so that's my motion. Okay, we have a motion for 108 Bureau. Do Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. So. All right. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Mr. Barry. Thank you. Thank you. So we want to make a motion to revert back to. We, we don't. Um, now, we, now we've done that. Oh, so we unless can. there's anybody else on the line that's no. here about a hearing. No. That's it. So. Okay. Thank you. Thank right. you. You're welcome. So we'll revert back to the usual order of business. All right. So let's see. I make a, somebody want to make a motion to approve the minutes of the September 16th meeting. So with those. Um, I did want to. Did you grab mine? I did not. No. All right, I'm accusing you of stealing. I know. I'm um, on the job here. So regarding the minutes, uh, uh, well, I guess we can't change anything. On 92 Grassmere on page two, uh -huh. we reviewed this, and I just I guess to enter it into the records now that. The, while we felt we had the authority and uh, yes. related to sure. declaring it um, blighted again, um, the town attorney felt it best that we proceed with uh, the way we did today. A notice of hearing and a hearing and the process today. So that's what we're doing. So I don't think we can amend that. That's what we did. But maybe we can add a note that yeah, like in brackets, a yeah. bracket yeah. or something yeah. like attorney, recommend. mm -hmm. attorney recommended right. we follow the uh, the blight procedure rather than moving back to fines. Mm -hmm. All right, so do we have a second to approve the meeting? All, right. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Any communications? None that won't be discussed. None. All right, let's move to condemnation. Old business, 1237 Stratfield. So 1237 Stratfield, they, are, they do have permits in place. They are uh, working to correct that wall. Um, yep. I think it's still going to meet, and, and this could be your, does it meet condemnation if the parking lot's still going to be blocked off while they're... Well, the condition still exists. The condition is, so nothing I, has changed nothing on the condition. Changed, so, so we have still, to leave it on, I think. I think it does. I'm just it still granted another 30 days. are blocked off, so I say yeah. we hold that over for another 30 days. I think uh, the, from, from both your perspectives, I think yeah. Phil wanted the... Oh, it's coned off, but it still presents, a, off. It still presents a risk with all, while that's un yeah. unrepaired. And so they've maintained those right. interim controls and are have obtained the permits necessary to start the work. So we'll give it another 30 days. All right, 30 days. Uh, and any new business? I have none. All right, so let's see. 40, uh, let's go to old business. 46 a pony, and I'm probably saying it wrong. Yeah, so uh, I One think... Cars? I, yeah, so the, there was a couple issues with the siding that appears to be addressed. I don't mm -hmm. see any issues uh, related to the house. They've cleaned up the yard. They've cut down some overgrowth, which wasn't our, under mm -hmm. us anyway, but they've cleaned up the front of the house. But the one car still is remaining. The owner said he's, he was trying to get rid of it, but he doesn't have the title, and so it's been delayed. Um, but at least I think there's progress. We keep it on the agenda for another month. Okay, uh, 904 High Street. This is a hearing today, right, uh, yes. Andrea? We had uh, Owner sent, president. sent the uh, – no, actually, no. Was last, last month was the hearing. I, I'm confusing with the minutes. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, and so, uh, again, I, it – They just were determined, yeah. Did the, did, was the letter delivered, do we know? Um, um, 
So we haven't gotten it back yet. I have the just the front pad. I haven't gotten the okay the back. Um, again, uh, yeah, it, it's this is the the house is largely in good shape. There's a few damage siding where birds are going in and out. Uh, um, I'd like to make some kind of verbal contact. I was hoping that they would be here last month. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to say make some kind of verbal contract with the owner before we would move to fines. Okay. Just to, I mean, it's 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 a relatively easy issue to be addressed. So let's do that. So keep it for another 30 keep days. Keep it for another 30 days, and, and then we'll and maybe reach we, out to... And maybe we send them just a, a, a regular first-class mail non-certified letter just saying... We'd just love to talk to you and... Call us about it. Yeah, let's see if we can fix... So, the, so they don't have to go. See All right, twenty more house highway. No you know, changes, huh? No, you know, there's still debris in the side yard. Mm -hmm. he, it looks like some has been removed, but there's still debris there, so I would keep it on. It's being fined. Okay. Fifty-seven Rockridge Road. Some progress there. One of the cars is gone. The, the dumpster so is dumpster. full. Is filling up. But they're so, moving ahead. I say we keep it on yep. and just continue to watch it. Stella, one twenty-five Stella. Now, was one twenty-five Stella sent a hearing notice? That's the two vehicles. So that was the one. There we go. So I did. I did have a talk with the uh, an occupant of the dwelling. Um, she said her husband owns the cars. That they they are registered, which we did verify. They are registered. Um, she claims they are operable. That they move them from time to time. I said. We'll need some kind of demonstration yeah. of that. Sure. Either show them, move them into your driveway, yep. or move them somewhere. Um, and she said she would have her husband call me. She would not accept a hand delivered notice mm -hmm. with my phone number on it. Um, she wouldn't let me leave it at the property. Um, so we'll have to send uh, uh, send a notice to them to mm -hmm. get them just to call. But Correct. I feel like we can't without knowing whether they're operable or not. I don't feel we can move forward with right. claiming they're inoperable because yeah, the the one on Thorpe Street we'll get to. Yeah. I just said, yeah, no, run, I'll go ahead and move it in the driveway. And then he's like, I'd leave it there to save parking spot. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so I think we'll carry that over. Yeah, it was sent, but we didn't get the envelope back. All right, we'll hold it over. Yeah, I think, yeah, we'll have to re-notice for next month if we don't. Okay. Here. All right, 222 Stilson. So that is in play. They're trying to get um, yep. permits, et cetera. You got the email? email yes. Yeah. So just to, just to enter it into the records, um, you know, they um, obtained the inland wetlands uh, approval. They obtained WPCA approval. Um, the, uh, the housing group next door um, appealed yes. the yeah. approval. Um, and so that will take some time to resolve, but that conservation gave the approval to move forward with the demolition. And so that's their intent is to move forward with the demolition of the house. Um, the garage will be saved for, for yeah. construction purposes for the time, and then we'll be taken down from is my understanding in the past, what he told us. Um, but uh, again, he's trying to work through the issues as best he can. He's getting, gotten approval, so I would uh, carry it on. Carry it over. And days. Follow it. That's what I say. Okay. Uh, under new business and complaints, 10 Alton Place. 10 Alton Place is a mattress on the side of the road. I don't feel it rises to the level of light. No. I forwarded it to John Cattell, uh, okay. who in the past... Solid waste, and, out, yeah. solid waste and recycling would handle it and say, hey, you're inappropriately disposing solid mm -hmm. waste and give them a letter. Okay. So I, I referred to them, so I don't think it rises no. to the level of blight, so to take it off the agenda. 40 Thorpe. Uh, as I said, it was a car parked in the road, claimed it was unregistered and operative. It and was moved. registered, and he moved it so it's registered. to demonstrate that it's so we take that operative. Over. So 40 Thorpe is uh, resolved. 108 Burrow, we already did that, so... Any other I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. All right. Uh, 2.39 p.m. The longest white meeting yet.